Hello fellow Sudokans, welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Friday the 30th of May. Heavens to Betsy, I'm putting out a third game today. Oh, I forgot to mention it's 2025, still in that year. We haven't gone past that year. Speaking of years, um, I, something has made me smile. I just saw an article in The Guardian from, based in where I am, which is in Thailand, uh, that there is a, a Thai athlete whose name is Sawang Jan Pram. I'm just guessing that's the pronunciation from the anglicized version. Um, but <laughs> what's a great way, what's a great way to win a competition? How about being the only person old enough to be in your age group? Uh, he's 105. <laughs> he's 105. This quote says, uh, he, he, he was, media reports remarked, in a league of his own at the event. Uh, he, as the oldest competitor at the games, uh, talking about some international games, I think, uh, and the only person in his age group, he was almost certain to win the men's 100 plus discus, javelin, shot put, and 100 meters, <laughs> which he completed in 38.55 seconds. Well done, that man. Jesus, I don't think I could keep up with him, actually. Uh, well done, 105, and it talks about how he exercises every day and the kind of food that he eats which is Thai food right so I'm doing okay following along on that although of course none of this is a is a, a way of you know living longer I mean not statistically proven uh, but he also exercises with his daughter 73 year old she is and the uh, one th amazing thing is that he didn't start he didn't start uh, competing until he was 97 so there we are it's never you're never too late to start something new uh, ne certainly never too late to start playing Sudoku, right? Any any age can play Sudoku. Uh, we don't have any age restrictions here. So let's get on with the game. My third game to, for today. I shouldn't really be playing this. I should be getting ready and getting ready, doing other things to go out. But anyway, I am playing it. So there you go. Uh, this is the Los Angeles Times expert level puzzle. Regular for the channel, of course. I see something. I see two nine across there. I see nine, two nine up there. So I've got two and nine in those squares there. What does it mean? It means twos are over there. It means nines are somewhere there, which is not much. Since that's two and nine, is there anything else that we can get here that's looking good? We've got eight blocking down there, so we will get eights in there. So now we've got eight and nine in those squares. Mm. Sure about anything else, but anyway, try to remember that for later. Uh, let's try and find a number first. Here we go three up, three down. There's a three. One up to the top, one across here, one across there, but of course one restricted to one of those three squares there, blocking that square. So that's going to be a one. Nine blocking both of those squares and nine blocking this square. So in that column there's our nine. Five blocking down here and there. Eight across this way and this way and an eight down there. 
excuse me switch my switch the sound off of my phone oh i hear the sound of thunder that shouldn't affect my trip today i'm driving from home so should be okay even if it rains eight across this way eight down here so eight is in one of those two squares let's take them all the way to the top like this eight across here and eight up here eight is in one of those squares blocking across <laughs> are you exhausted that was a long journey wasn't it but if you're a 105 year old <laughs> was it 105 i've forgotten 100 and let me just yeah 105 year old that's nothing is it if you're a 105 year old a a um, athlete I've just realized something. I'm playing in the Safari browser. I used to play in the Firefox until something weird happened with that. But I've noticed that this Safari browser tends to jump up and down a little bit. Whereas the Firefox thing seems to remain static. So I shall try, we'll try to remember to be careful with the mouse. Seven in that square, obviously. Uh, 4 and 5 are in this block which means that 4 and 5 must be in those squares they can't be in these squares can they uh, any help on the yes so 4 blocking that square so that's going to be the 4 and that's going to be the 5 and what are we left with here 3 and 9 I guess um, Okay, so we've got nine blocking this square and nine blocking this square. So in this row, that's the only opportunity for a nine to exist. And that will be our three. Three blocking across here, across there. And there's a three. One taking care of these three squares means that that's a one there. One across here, one up there. There's one. Oh, sorry. Just uh, had multiple squares selected and um, what am I saying uh, one blocking up here one blocking across there one is in that square there let's do it correctly okay nine blocks down there that gives us a nine in that square missing digits here are two five and six we've got four couple of fives blocking across so we say that's the five and we will know that two six exists there and also two six exists over here and this then will not be two or six it's got to be four and nine and these squares are not four or nine they are two and six I guess yeah so uh, actually I think we've got an opportunity for a unique rectangle here haven't we so we've got two and six there, two and six here, and it means that this can't be two or six. So is it a one? Uh, can't be two or six. Three, four, five, seven, eight, seven, eight. Yeah, yeah, it's a one. Okay, because of our unique rectangle. Okay. And then two blocks this square, so that would be the two. That's the six. That's the two, and that's the six. Da da. we have two across this way and across this way and a two down there which will give us two in that square missing numbers up here I think are two and five we've got five blocking across there's the five there's the two four blocks this square here so in this column there's our four this must be seven five blocks across there there's the five the missing number here is going to be four okay we made pretty substantial progress in the east our west is rather lacking let's see what we've got up here um, four six seven I believe we've got four across there four across there that will be our four 
6 and 7 will be in those squares and I think that we worked something out before didn't we we had 2 what did we have 2 and 9 across there okay this is uh, 6 and 7 this is 2 and 9 right yes and this is uh, 3 and 8 none of which helps us down there anyway uh, let's see what we have got up here we've got a 1 can we get anything from there we get 1's in those squares in fact we might just go around the clock I think let's try that see if we're missing something obvious Okay, across the bottom, I think we're missing one, four, seven, and eight. One, four, seven, eight. Yes, yes, yes. One, four, and eight are in this column. That's going to be a seven then. So seven across this way, seven across that way, seven down there will give us seven here. down here and five across there there's a five. Oh, that's a f the last digit five and we've got a, a completed digit now Seven blocking this square, seven blocking this square, seven blocking this square. So in this row, here's our seven. And the last number to place up there is going to be six. Six blocks this square, that means that's a six and that's our seven. Seven across here, seven up there. I should finish the sevens. And the last number to place here is, I've entirely forgotten. Uh, what are you? Are you nine, are you? Okay. six blocks across there there's a six this will be a three we need a three in this position for the column missing numbers one eight nine we've got nine across there and there so there's the nine and we'll be left with eight blocking this square there's the eight and a one is the last digit we need one blocking across across if i can hold down the right keys will give us one in that square the last number for this row is four four blocking up four across there there's our four last number to place here is a nine nine up here we still need a nine in the top row it's nine there and this will be two two back down here there's the two missing number here is six six blocking down here and across there this has been a much easier game hasn't it really uh, missing digit here is eight eight blocking up there there's our eight and the last number to place here is three and we still need a three to finish the game that's it pretty straightforward game from the la times on their expert level puzzle that's it uh, i'll check you out over the weekend take care bye bye i might even come back in the evening you never know uh, i'm probably going to be late but um if i'm if i've got enough energy i might come back in the evening as well take care bye bye